Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com. In this video, we are going to look at how we can use a formula to count how many times a specific weekday occurs between two dates. And in this example, I want to use the dates I have on screen right now, and I want to count how many Fridays are between those two dates. Now, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to begin by in cell C2 here, subtracting the earlier date from the latter date. So in my example right now, I've got B2 take away A2. Because that will find the difference in days, just every single day, what is the difference. But once I have that answer, I am now going to subtract from that how many days difference except for Friday. Because if I can find out the date difference except for the Friday and then the date difference like every day, that would indicate how many Fridays there are between those dates. I'm hoping this makes sense. <laughs> now the function I'm going to use for this is called Network Days International. It's a function, if you're not familiar with this, to find how many working days, how many business days between two dates. And I want to use this uh, second option rather than the standard network days because this one will allow me to be flexible and allow me to specify Friday as the weekend or as the non-working day. Whereas the normal one, the original one, will just exclude Saturday and Sunday. Okay, now if I choose this function, I can specify the start date. Here is the 3rd of September, A2. Put in my comma, it prompts me for the end date. And that is B2, 17th of September 2016. Comma, and then it asks me, what is a weekend to you? Here's that flexible question I mentioned. And I'm going to choose number 16. I'm going to scroll down here. Friday only. Obviously, in your example, depending what weekday you're looking for, whether it be a Thursday or a Monday, you choose the relevant option there. Me, I'm counting Fridays, so that's what I choose. I'm going to ignore the last question, which allows me to add in any other holidays. I don't want that. Close bracket. And then we need one more thing. I need to type plus one. Now the reason I'm doing that is network days will return an extra option to the usual difference. If if I had today's date and tomorrow's date and I just did a simple subtraction like I've got at the start here, that would return the answer of one. Like there's one day difference between today and tomorrow. Whereas network days if I ask that, the difference between day and tomorrow, that would bring back the answer of two. It actually brings back one extra because it includes a, it assumes the days as whole days. And that is why I've got an extra plus one because I know it's going to bring back an extra one to what the standard subtraction does. So that plus one just kind of counters that. Now I can tell you, you can always look this up if you wish, but between those two dates, 3rd of September 2016, 17th of September 2016, there should be two Fridays. So when I press enter, I could do a change in the format in there. Right answer, wrong representation of the answer. And the answer is two. And if I increased that date, just for demonstration purposes, it'll recalculate and tell me there's three between these two dates. So I'm hoping the uh, the logic behind that formula makes sense. Uh, you can always play around with it if not, but finding the difference in calendar days, then subtracting from that the difference in days, apart from the Friday, and adding one on top, because I know that net days would bring across an extra, which I'm not interested in. And that is how we can count the number of occurrences of a specific weekday between two dates. I hope you found that tutorial useful. Please check out some of our other tutorials on our YouTube channel and come check us out at